Welcome and hello everyone. My name is Gordon Feener and I am the Chief Editor of Mass2ablog.com. During the course of this informational segment, I'd like to focus on the issue of basic safety rules. Regardless of whether you are a gun owner who is new to gun ownership or someone who has owned guns for decades, it is important to periodically review the basic safety rules. The following 12 rules and discussions are based on those rules that are posted by the National Rifle Association. 1. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. A safe direction means that the gun is pointed so even if it was to go off accidentally, it would not cause injury or damage. The key to this rule is to control where the muzzle or the front end of the barrel is pointed at all times. Common sense dictates the safest direction based on the specific circumstances in where you are physically located. 2. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. When holding a gun, keep your trigger finger outside the trigger guard until you are ready to fire. 3. Always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. Whenever you pick up a gun, immediately make sure that you verify it's empty by first removing the magazine, racking the slide a couple of times, and making sure that it is empty. Or, if it is a revolver, swing out the cylinder, visibly inspecting each of the cylinders in chambers to make sure that it is clear of the ammunition. 4. Know your target and what is beyond. Be absolutely sure that you have identified your target beyond any reasonable doubt. Also, be aware of the area that is beyond your target. Never fire in a direction in which there are people or other areas that are a potential for injury or damage. 5. Know how to use the gun safely. Before handling a gun, learn how it operates, know its basic parts, how to safely open and close the action, how to remove any ammunition from the gun or the magazine. Nothing can ever replace safe gun handling. 6. Be sure the gun is safe to operate. Regular cleaning is a part of general upkeep of a firearm. If you have any question concerning the gun's ability to function, consult a reputable and knowledgeable gunsmith to take a look at it. 7. Use only the correct ammunition for your gun. Only use cartridges that are designed for your particular gun. Most guns have the ammunition type stamped on the barrel. Ammunition can be identified by information posted on the box and sometimes stamped on the cartridge itself. Do not, again, do not shoot a gun unless you know that you have the proper ammunition. 8. Always wear eye and ear protection. The firing of a gun is loud and the noise can cause hearing damage. The firing of a gun can also cause debris and hot gas to escape that could cause eye injury. Always wear shooting glasses and hearing protection. 9. Never use alcohol or over-the-counter prescription drugs before or while handling a gun. Alcohol, as well as many prescription medicines, can impair normal mental or physical bodily functions and should not be used before or while handling or shooting a gun. 10. Store guns so that they are not accessible to unauthorized persons. Massachusetts law requires that all guns must be in a locked container or equipped with a tamper-resistant 
mechanical lock, or other safety device. 11. Regularly cleaning is important in order for your gun to operate correctly. Before cleaning your gun, make sure that it is unloaded. The gun's action should be open during the cleaning process. Also, make sure that there is no ammunition present in the cleaning area. The final point, number 12. The most important safety component connected with your firearm safety is you acting as a responsible and knowledgeable gun owner. Remember that when you purchase a bullet, you own that bullet from the moment you purchase it until it hits its final destination. Additional safety guidelines can be found at www.nra.com. I hope that this segment has given you sufficient information and direction to further educate yourself on the issue of safety with the goal of you being a more knowledgeable and responsible gun owner. As a reminder, this and other segments posted on this website are offered for educational information and discussion purposes only. It is not offered for any type of legal advice. Should you have a subject that you wish to have addressed in these blogs, please do not hesitate to email me at editormass2a at gmail.com. I also invite you to visit our webpage at www.mass2ablog.com to view and subscribe to our monthly postings. Again, thank you for watching this video and have a good and safe day.